So this one here? Uh, yes. Yep, okay. Well, maybe that might be, I don't know whether, whether who they comprise of or whether they're more appropriate or not. I mean, this isn't going to matter with the lookalike. But... Okay, and then we'll make this mobile only. Mm -hmm. Is there like a, a specific budget constraint that you're tied to or are we cool with 20 bucks? Yeah, that's fine, yep. Okay. So with the optimization, you did it for, um, did that matter or? Purchases. Okay. But you needed purchases to make optimize for purchases. No, it's optimizing for conversions, which is add to cart. Uh, yes, yeah. okay, yep. So here's what we're going to do here. We're going to use existing post. And then what I do is I pull up the ad that was successful and we can pull up the ad ID here, which is this long string of numbers. Mm -hmm. I'm going to copy this, go back into the ad account and then um, enter post ID. Yeah. I was going to say, do you think the copy was a bit like, I don't know, it doesn't really say much. Like I just threw it out there. It might have worked for people who had already seen the product for Ashi, but do you think that's sort of what I should have or maybe what you had you suggested a while ago, which is like for girls who want to achieve their goals and keep it short and to the point because that's a bit waffly, I thought. Now it is a bit waffly. However, the data is saying that it liked it. So, uh, yeah. But if you switch audience, uh, you may find that the click-through rates and the clicks are a lot more expensive on a cold audience for this. So I yeah. definitely would always recommend you split test more than one ad. On this yeah. particular call right now, we don't really have time to get into like creating, what I wanna do is build the structure of your funnel. But yeah. I would definitely recommend you go through and actually roll out like at least one other ad creative under each ad set, okay? Under each do campaign. They, do they compete with each other though? Like, you know, yeah, you absolutely said, they, they do. Yeah, do definitely. Uh, okay. yeah, definitely. But, the, but, the, but they don't compete with each other in the sense of like audience deduping, uh, but uh, they compete in the sense that Facebook will typically feed budget into yeah. its favorite ad. Um, and that part of the algorithm is actually really not uh, the most robust. It gets it wrong a lot of the time. So typically uh, what you have to do is sometimes it will feed it out evenly, but typically what you have to do is sometimes pause one ad to let it feed to the other, but then you can actually compare stats. So maybe you go, I'm going to let each ad get at least 20 clicks or at least 8,000 impressions or whatever it is. And uh, I can then compare them both together uh, based yeah. on what they hit, you know? So you'd do it under the same ad set, though. So you'd have the ad set, and then you'd have that ad, which you just created, and then another ad with a different copy. So it's still under the same ad set of the Choose Your Heart yes. audience. Yep. Yeah. Now, here's what we're also going to do. So this is still – this is – now, if we go back to your um, campaign level, you've got top of funnel, okay? And then mm -hmm. at the ad set level, we've got a lookalike. What we're going to do here is we're going to duplicate this, and we're actually going to target – a saved audience of Ashy Bynes fans, so people interested in Ashy Bynes, because that's also what we would call a cold audience, okay? So a cold audience is always top of funnel, right? Um, so all we do is we go duplicate, and then I go in here, I'm gonna edit this so that you know exactly what we're looking at. Um, I don't even know how to spell her name, but. Um, that's it. That's it. Yeah. And, and you wouldn't here, refine it at all. You just go purely Ashy Bynes fans, all ages, or? Uh, well, um, have you noticed, like, who are you targeting? I can't really answer that. Like, what do you, who do you uh, target? Is it yeah. women? 20? Yeah, women. So is it between 18 and, oh, sorry, 25 and 35 are the real ones that oh, actually she's got buy. She's a massive following, eh? Woof. Yeah. She only had like a hundred thousand or something. That's cool. Yeah. So I think about like 18, so 25 to 35 we found is the group that actually buys the product the most, is it? Or 25 to 40? Um, okay. Well, you can look at your data. We can do yeah. this. Uh, 
25. I mean, yeah, 18 year olds are a little bit more like skimp, I guess, but it is oh a cheap product. Yep. I mean, have a look at it. Um, you are optimizing for ads to cart. So you are uh, using OCPM to some extent. So Facebook will try to um, get more of that result for you. So it will naturally try to target the people that are adding to cart. Does that seven day click stuff mean anything? Like, is that worth mm -hmm. tweaking or? No, just leave it to default. Basically, you probably have more of a one day conversion window. But right. all and the reason why Facebook leaves it as a default on seven days is it's just more data to go off of. So actually, this is a nice sized audience. Um, okay, and we possibly want to exclude Because that. Oh, yes. that look like was purchases. There you go. So there was a big overlap there. There was about seven, 80,000 people, 70,000 people. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, so you need to exclude the overlap so that I don't, again, compete. Mm, or good spotting, have... Simon. Women. Yeah, because actually, yeah. Oh, it didn't really change that. But a lot of these women influencers on Instagram, some of them have a lot of men followers because it's a lot of like boobs and butts type stuff. Um, so yeah, men are not going to buy bracelets though, right? <laughs> Very good point. They want their wife who they want <laughs> to Maybe lose what I should, I should be doing like Facebook ads that convert. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Um, so because this was using an existing ad, so you, you remember guys how I chose a, an existing ad ID. So you see here, it's actually going to duplicate the exact same ad, meaning it's the same ad ID. So all the likes, comments, and shares, um, that is, was on the original ad is being pulled through into this, uh, ad set essentially, which is what we want. We want to make sure we're not sending our budget to.